Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Podcast. I'm Lex and this is Libby. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about, well, <laughs> smut. We're going to be talking about smut today. Isn't that right, Libby? You've got a fair few things to say on the subject. Y yeah. So we're going to be talking about my new project, I think is the correct... Wait, are you quite all right? There's a little bit of dirt on the table. I mean, it might be a dirty podcast, but we don't need to look messy, do we? So, yes, you were saying. <laughs> so, yes, uh, we're going to talk about my new project, which yeah, involves some smut. Some smut. Some smut. Yes. This is a PG podcast, so that's mm. the word we're going with. Yeah, okay. So, jokes aside, mm -hmm. you've got a new project in the works. I been do. Working on for a few weeks. It's still yes. early days. Of Very early days. So, what are you doing? What are you up so, to? So, I am working on a visual novel. Visual novel. A visual novel. Hence the smart. Yeah. Very popular at the moment. It does seem to be. I mean, I'm really <laughs> new to visual Obviously, I know yes, what they are. I'm very new to them as well myself. Yeah. I, I mean, my contribution to your project goes as far as to helping you with the code. But other than yes. that, I know nothing about visual novels whatsoever. And uh, I'm interested to see how this goes. So why don't you tell us all? Imagine people are like me. We don't know what a visual novel is. Give us an overview. Okay. What is a visual novel? So it's the idea of storytelling with a visual component. So, I mean, based on my research, it is quite literally just Your images. Research. Yes. Into the research. Um, smart. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it is still images and then a story and you get given options and how, we, what options you choose develops a story in a certain so way. So it's like a choose your own adventure yeah. kind of story. So back in our day, they <laughs> used to be, you know, Goosebumps books with these sort of That's scenarios. Thinking, yeah. Yes, I remember them. I used to love them as well. Yeah. Like turn, you know, you pick this one and you turn to page 57 or whatever it is. And, and then you could like cheat, read all the other little bits. Oh yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the end. <laughs> see it was the kind of the way it was done to be fair. Yeah, it was. You know. So it's like that, yeah. but for modern age and it's done with imagery rather than just text. Yeah, and obviously the actions you choose take the character in a different mm -hmm. direction or the story in a yes. different direction in general. So. Okay, so what type of visual novel is popular at the moment? I mean, you were saying that they were growing. What, what do you see at the moment? <laughs> so, they do seem to be very popular in certain communities. Is it those communities? Um, hmm, I suppose probably the Does the, the community safest... begin with an F? And no, I'm not thinking of that word. The furries. Is it the furry community? That is one of the communities they are very popular in. Um, I would be inclined to say that certain fetishes in general seem to be quite popular. I will say, when we've been doing our Kickstarter research, I do see an awful lot of gay demon visual novels. I suppose is the way to put it. Yes. Yeah, that would be... Um, no. That Gay demon novels don't tickle my pickle. However, there they does seem to be a big They are proving demand. to be quite popular at they the moment. Really Is that what you're making then? Are you making a gay demon visual novel? No, I'm not. I'm staying away from the whole furry and demon monster thing. So um, you've got to be part of that community really to get it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, my writing skills are not up to par anyway, as well, I'm... I don't know. You used to be quite the avid writer. This is a kind mm. of a perfect venture for you, somebody that likes doing the stories. Yes, but mm, I, I don't know. It's proving to be harder than I was expecting. Really? Yes. Is that because of the multiple choices? Or yeah, so issue? obviously you're not just sort of writing one story, you're writing multiple because depending on what options people pick, you need a different outcome and a different storyline. Yeah, makes sense. And while some of them can overlap a bit, they're not all going to overlap because otherwise it'd just be one story. Here's a question for you. Obviously, you know how to write, even if you say you're having trouble at the moment. I've no yes. doubt that you're going to be good and fine at doing that. <laughs> There's a lot of artwork involved, isn't there? There is. What are you doing about that? Because as far as I'm aware, art's not mm, your forte. No, it's not. <laughs> so how are you taking care of the actual images? So for the imaging, I will be using AI. Ah, very nice. Is this something like Stable Diffusion or, or another one of the AI image generators? I haven't designed it yet. Okay, that makes sense. Well, obviously, I've I will got be going on your recommendations, well, if I'm honest, on that, that because I've not really used... Well, I've not used any visual AI. I know they're getting very good. They are. Not... Some of them are really good now. They can do different types of image style as well, realistic, cartoon, mm -hmm. um, anime, that sort of stuff. I was going to say, anime tends to be the go-to style it really? when it comes to um, visual novels, yeah. Okay, so are you going to be doing AI-generated anime style? Is it anime or manga? I always get confused. Again, I don't really know much about it. Apologies for any of the fans that we might be upset about right now. Both seem to be quite popular. So I would say it probably depends heavily on the type of characters you have and 
Um, what type of character will you be having? Mine you? are all human. Oh, all human. All okay. human. Okay. It is just human. Right. Okay. <laughs> and, and what are they? Old, young? Not so, too young, I hope. No, everyone story, is but... of a consensual and right. legal age. Good. Thank you very much. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So what's, what do you go for then? Young adults? Yeah, young good? adults. So just uh, throwing out, because I like to read a lot, and that's kind of why I've started on this venture myself. Mm. And as you well know, I, I like to read my smut, don't I? You do love your smut. It was, <laughs> it was on Facebook the other day, actually. Unabashedly unashamed. That's, oh, completely. That's our avid They're fantastic. smut reader here. Although at the moment I'm reading a really dark one. Really? really dark. So slight plug. I'm currently reading Haunting Adeline, which is really dark. Very dark compared to what I'm used to. I have nothing to say on this at no. all. You but really keep, don't. You keep talking. Maybe I'm going to keep talking. Care. Tell so, us all about it. Why, why is it a good book? Well, I'm undecided at the moment. I mean, it's well written. But I'm. It might actually be a little bit too dark for me. A little bit. Too, you love horror. I know. I love horrors and I love smut. But the combination of the two, hmm. I'm not sure it's for me. I'm enjoying it still. Okay. And the storyline's really good. But I mean, I've just got to my sort of the first big smutty scene. Like yeah. there's been little bits, and yeah, it's it's very dark. Whereas previously, like my favourite series at the moment is the Twisted series by Anna. Wang? I don't Anna know if I, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Apologies if I'm not. So she did Twisted Love, Twisted Games, Lies, and is this, Hate. Is this what was it called? They made those films on it. It was a spin-off no. of Twilight. What, what am I thinking of? I have no idea. No, no. They, they not, was... Are you on about Fifty Shades of Grey? Yes. That's oh no, it. they're terrible. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Clearly, you're a connoisseur of fine. Oh smart. yes, fine smart. Fine yes. Smart. So Twisted series, my favourite so far. Although, okay. Yeah, but. Back to your vision. Yes. Before. So that's where I'm going on my inspiration, I suppose, is the novels by that particular author, because I really like her style of writing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and with her two latest series of books, she does it from both a lead male and lead female perspective. Yeah. And that's kind of what I'm going for as well, because that works really well with the um, visual novel side of things as well. Okay, so what sort of story do you think you're going to go for then? What, what, what sort of settings? Obviously, we know the characters are young adults, but what sort of story do you think you're going for? Um, well, It is romance, first of all. It yeah. is romance, okay. obviously. Um, obviously. Obviously. Smut. <laughs> Romantic smut. Romantic smut. I was yeah. going to say, there doesn't seem to be an awful <laughs> lot of romance in the smut these days. There, that I... there, there is definitely romance as well. But um, So... I haven't fully decided on the storyline because of the different branches yet, but the starting side of things is obviously it's a young group of friends. There are siblings within this group of friends and they've decided to arrange a camping trip and that's where it's all going to start. So camping trip by the lake is where we're starting. Now, you said siblings. Just to clarify. The siblings are not getting involved. OK, I just wanted to be clear, you know. In 2024, is that bro? No, oh, we're not going down that route. OK. Absolutely not. Well, that's good. So what sort of names have you got for your characters then? Let's start there. So my lead female is Daphne. Good old Daphne. Daphne. And my lead male is Nathan. Nathan I, I and Daphne. forgot for a second then. Well, not a good start. No. <laughs> <laughs> and how long do you envision your story being? Um, I mean, I would like it. It's difficult because there's different ways of doing it it's whether i i'm probably going to be looking at steam as a way of launching this rather yeah, than doing sense. it through an app store because the ones on the apps they tend to be not very long you know you can kind of flick through a chapter within a minute or two and then the whole thing's probably only about half an hour long here's a question for you obviously you're yes. eventually going to go on the steam yeah on, on the steam on the steam platform <laughs> do you think you'll run a kickstarter for it maybe run a kickstarter see if you can get some extra funds in do some voice acting Maybe that would be, be interesting. That would be an interesting route to go down. Actually, cool. we'd yes. be up for some ridicule there, wouldn't we? If oh us, yes, if, if it failed. Well. Oh my god, that'd be awful, wouldn't it? Oh, no. let's, <laughs> let's just never bring it up if it fails. Eh? But uh, yeah, no, that'd be interesting because um, I mean, you do see a lot of visual novels on Kickstarter these days, but maybe not the type that you're doing. I mean, there seems to be a lack. No. Of things, so. Yeah, there's there's a lack of uh, non-humanoid. Things. Mm. Mm. I don't know, maybe I should introduce something, some sort of alien. Some sort of demonic presence at yeah. some point, yeah. Why Just not? to spark the interest, <laughs> yeah. He's in one scene and that's the scene we're going to show in the trailer, yeah. Yes. 
No, it, it could be interesting. I definitely think there's a there's a good chance this one on, on Kickstarter. That's really worth it now. But back, jumping back to what you're saying, so yes. Steam. Yes. You're going to be launching on Steam. That's where you're up to. Yeah. So I, yeah, I would like it to be within realistically reading time of the average reader of a, probably about an hour. So I don't want it to be massively long. It's only going to be a very small thing. Okay. But that still requires a lot of. Obviously, with it being a visual novel as opposed to a normal novel, yeah. you've got the opportunity to expand upon it. Add sort of is DLC the right term for a visual novel, or do you just yes. add to it? So my thought is it's going to be like a series. So within this story, obviously there's going to be other characters. So um, Daphne is one of the siblings involved, mm -hmm. and her brother, and you know she's got a friend that's at this camping trip and things as well. And my idea is that then characters mentioned in earlier books will then become the leads in. Sub subsequent stories. Hmm. Does that make sense? Go, yeah, I understand <laughs> what you're saying. I'm just just jumping back to what you said. A thought I've got for modern audiences. Uh -huh. Are you going for a very freedom-based story? As in, if somebody wants to have a heterosexual or homosexual relationship, do you allow that in your novel? I mean, is that something you've considered? Will you allow that? Or are you trying to keep it all as a very, this is the characters that get together, you can't pick who you want? Um, yes and no. So I have thought about it. There is going to be a certain amount of linear storyline, but just because these are the two lead characters that are the, the aim of the story is to kind of wind up with them together doesn't mean they're actually going to end up together. Sure. It's all going to be based on the route that you go down. That makes a lot of sense. And jumping back to the engine that you're using. Now, the big mm -hmm. visual novel engine is called Renpai, if memory serves me well. Mm -hmm. But we've opted not to use Renpai, and we're actually making our own in Godot, aren't we? We are, well... You are. Well, <laughs> I know there. nothing about coding. I mean, the conversation that we had that led to us making our own was we yes. wanted the absolute freedom to do whatever we wanted. Mm -hmm. So as it stands at the moment, we've got a basic structure where we can sell our scenes, our characters entering, leaving, changing the background, setting the music, mm -hmm. changing the expressions, etc. All the fundamentals you'd like. And I understand you're considering, but I don't think you've made it in mind of it, correct me if I'm wrong, but you potentially can have little mini games, little sort of tasks that they can complete as well. Yeah, I thought, you know, we discussed it and the idea of having like little puzzles or things that can be included into the game I think is a nice idea it's a little niche idea that yeah. isn't already in visual novels and one thing that you said to me from the let go from the let go from the get go was mm -hmm. they have to be optional so if there's a mini game yeah. and somebody just wants the story they need to skip yeah it. they need to be able to skip yeah definitely. completely agree because I'd it, imagine some people just the same with the narration as well not everyone wants to read the whole background of the narration part of things because of they just want to make the decisions and get that storyline going. But some people want that backstory. They want all the information before making a decision. So you need to jump to the decision. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. And are there any other key requirements or are you still figuring that out at the moment? Still figuring that out at the moment. Um, I mean, one thing that I don't want to do, which seems to be really common in particularly the app versions, so your mobile app versions of visual novels, is that you have to have like gems or some sort of currency from the options that you really? have. Really? What, what? Is this like microtransactions? What, yeah. What, what is this? So. Oh, sorry, this is completely alien to me. I didn't know this was a thing. I know one of like the the heavily advertised one. I think is called Whispers, and you get three options. That sounds right up your street. Whispers. Mm. <laughs> I, I wasn't impressed, if I'm honest. Ah. But you get three options one that doesn't cost anything and then you've got one that costs like x amount and then one really high one which is you know very clearly the, the option that you want to go with yeah, as well yeah. but you get like a daily allowance of these things but it's nowhere near enough to cover those higher options so it's definitely heavily marketing so they limit you... how much you can read slash interact yeah so they def they limit how oh. much you can interact by making the options payable, basically. Uh, is this to pad out the length of the story, then? Do you think, to delay the person from completing it? I, that just sounds like a really bad user experience to me. I wouldn't, I would say it's just, it is all about profit because the yeah. free options generally make a dull story. So really, it's really pressuring you to go with the paid options. So, so it's like, would you like to go through the door on the left, the door on the right, or jump out the window, which is the paid yeah. option? And it's... Oh, you want to jump out the window? That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know. It depends how high the window is. <laughs> I don't want to Worry die. Worry about that later. That's part of the story. <laughs> That's why you're paying the money. But yeah, so it, it does... It, a lot of them seem to be putting that pressure on you to 
buy the internal currency so that you can go with the better options and the more interesting storyline. And I don't like that. So are you just gonna go for a one and done model? You pay your yeah, so you four pay... or five quid or whatever. I mean, I say four, four quid, I have no idea. How much are these usually? Do you know what? I've not looked heavily on the ones on Steam. I don't think they're much. I think they are around sort of four or five Okay, pounds. so that's a good guess then, yeah. Um, but a lot of that is going to depend on the length of story as well. So yeah. obviously if there's less options and less storyline, they're going to be cheaper, aren't they? Makes sense. So yeah, probably aiming around for the four or five pound mark, but you pay that once and then that's it. Yeah, no, no shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, I don't want to go down the microtransaction route. I don't think that's fair and I don't think that leads to a progressive story. No, and it's just, again, really bad use experience in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Well, that I think is the essentials of the mm -hmm. Are there any other areas that we've not covered that you'd like to talk about? Um, I don't know, we've talked about most of it, haven't we? We've gone around it quite a yeah. bit, haven't we, to be fair. I mean, definitely having to write the multiple stories is proving harder than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. So it's taken me a lot longer. So you're mapping it all out on like a bit of paper. Yeah, and yeah, I, I'm very much a, physical notes I don't like it all on screens and things so I computers I've... eh oh gross I know <laughs> <laughs> we're in the wrong industry but no so I do have my notebook and I've got like the ideas and things all planned out but then having to actually write the different scenarios and seeing where I can link them back in together and it's actually yeah it's more complicated than I know I hand gestures <laughs> there's just it's yeah it's complicated it's more complicated than, than I was expecting well that's fair that's fair so if people are looking to get it to a visual, just be aware it's going to be more complicated than you thought. Yeah, definitely get that whole storyline and things done first. And just, yeah, because the thing is, I've got a lot written at the moment. And yeah, it probably still only equates to about five minutes, if I'm honest, because you need so much context and things. And you will have people that just click, 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 click really quickly. Mm. So trying to make it long enough so that it's worth doing. Yeah, yeah. Is, you know, I want to make sure I get that right. Well, that's fair enough. On that note, shall we take a look at Kickstarter? Yes, we shall. Is it, how's it looking at the moment? Because now it's generally quite a quiet time, isn't it? Just coming sort of summertime. It's not looking it's wonderful out there, I'm not going to lie. I yeah. mean, there are a lot of projects. There's still over 20,000 projects just in video games alone, Oof. which is obviously a lot. 